He uses race not to help black people, not to help Hispanic people or any people. For power, as the gentleman just said, for votes. And it's worked well, hasn't it? What took place in Ferguson, Missouri, has nothing at all to do with race. Never did. And it never will. Despite efforts to rewrite the facts, and despite efforts, endless now, on TV, to advance this agenda. And they'll advance it all through Thanksgiving. I want to encourage you to turn your back on these people, to turn your back on these arguments, and reject them completely. Are there some bad police officers? Yes. And there's some bad presidents, some bad attorneys general, some bad phony civil rights leaders. So what? So what? The vast majority of police officers and police departments, law enforcement at every level, you consider the number of interactions, the number of people involved, the types of things that these men are talking about are rare indeed. Now, here I am behind this microphone, and I want to encourage police officers all over the country who are confronting the criminals, the arsonists, the rioters, the looters, not people marching and expressing their First Amendment rights. But you see, Mr. President, we can tell the difference between them and the others. To come down hard on them. Because what they're trying to do, these leftist radical organizations that have organized these efforts behind the scenes and in the shadows, they're trying to destabilize our towns and our cities. They look for these opportunities. They move around from city to city, whether it's Seattle, whether it's Occupy this city or Occupy that city, whether it's Ferguson today, they seek to expand on their looting and their rioting and their mayhem in our major cities, in New York, in L.A., in Philadelphia, Chicago, Atlanta, you name them. And I want our patriotic policemen and police women, where they're backed up by the National Guard, I want them to know that we have their backs. That they're not alone. We can't do anything physically, and they wouldn't want us to. But we support their efforts. Because what goes on in Ferguson is now going on in parts of the rest of the country. And it's the way the president is signaling and the attorney general are singling others to protest. And some have heard his, his encouragement. So I want to encourage the police officers in this country. These are working men and women, middle class, with families, all races, all religions, all backgrounds, all sexual preferences. I want to encourage them to put down the criminals, to arrest them, and to send them to jail. And I want to encourage the 100 FBI agents that are in Ferguson, Missouri, to look very, very carefully at all videotape, media and otherwise, and find out who's been doing the looting and burn down these stores and go get them. And drag their asses in front of grand juries. And prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. Because Al Sharpton would want it that way. I'll be right back. <laughs> 